Hello Commanders and welcome in episode 3 of the Battle Royale and today we present you the winners of the first round which they are North America versus South America. The winner is South America. North Africa versus Central Africa. The winner is Central Africa. North Europe versus Central Europe. The winner is North Europe. Central Asia which is our coalition versus Eastern Asia. The winner is Central Asia. Middle East versus North Asia. Winner is Middle East. The Pacific Asia versus South Africa. Africa, the winner is Pacific Asia. Congratulations! And the second round would be Pacific Asia versus Central Africa, Middle East versus Central Asia, North Europe versus West Europe. And today we start our battle against the Middle East, one of the biggest and strongest coalitions in the game. And today we proceed with this battle as you see here in front of you guys in this particular moment. The battle between the Middle East and the Central Asia, which is my team is underway now on the Iranian borders there and we can see here that the troops of uh, the Middle East they are starting to appear here we have uh, they have artillery they have mobile on air they have um, armored vehicles and a lot of things just keep watching this video and you will see one of the biggest fights in conflict of nations world war 3 but before we start commenting about this battle I'm going to say that this one it was my hardest war ever like seriously you will see how much I am going to struggle you will see how much it, this is going to be tough tricky uh, it's going to be so complicated because we are going three against four also our third ally which is Myanmar he is offline in this battle he didn't really appear in the starting of the battle so the Middle East is going to have a huge leap of faith he is going to have a huge step ahead in this battle and we will you will see see the details. But now in the first images here we can see that Saudi Arabia is advancing in the first line with a heavy armored division composed of mobile artilleries and main battle tanks. That's one of my strategies that I keep speaking about in my videos. In the first line you put high hit points uh, divisions such as main battle tanks, tank officer, mobile artillery, the second line will be infantry, the third line will be artillery and the last line will be anti-air and anti-missiles. And my followers here, the coalition of the Middle East, he is using my own strategy against me. It's going to be an epic battle because Everyone here in this game knows how I play. Everyone knows how I play. They know all of my strategies. They know which kind of troops I would rather play with. Uh, they know also how I use my artilleries, how I use my armored, uh, my anti-air, my naval recon aircrafts and everything. So today here I don't have a navy, I only have naval recon aircrafts. The navy belongs to Myanmar and my ally also Pakistan, but the bad thing here Myanmar is not online. He have some engagements in real life. So his navy is there in the middle. They are being heavily hit. And here Pakistan is struggling also. And he is receiving a lot of damage from the Middle Eastern ships there. They have destroyers. They have cruisers. They also have frigates. And more important, they also have attack submarines. So they have the full package here and in the beginning of the video we saw also that they have an aircraft carrier and now they started launching ballistic missiles, look at that! Max level ballistic missiles, that's, that's nice, that's nice. Well that was expected of course in such wars like this in day 69. We will see nuclear warfare, we will see all kinds of things, so you will see a lot of advanced armies, a lot of advanced divisions. And this is the Pakistani Navy is launching cruise missiles there on his enemies. But I can see that the naval officer of Pakistan, he have hurt, he have been hurt heavily. That's my naval recon aircraft uh, overstacked in one single uh, in one single stack. 35. I will separate them later, of course. I'm not going to use them like this. I'm just waiting for those frigates to be um, to be cleared out from our navies. But I hope. I hope that my allies, they are up to the task and they can win the naval battle. On the land battle, we are receiving a lot, a lot of nuclear ballistic missiles from Saudi Arabia. I think this is his first wave, he's going to launch more and more. They are charging forward from the first line with armored divisions, infantry, and they are keeping their artilleries there. I can see that Saudi Arabia is the one who is responsible on the armored divisions, such as the mobile artillery and 
also the main battle tanks as I said and Iraq is hiding behind him with multiple rocket launchers you can see that stack behind the Saudi and armored division composed only of support also I have this stack of 10 max level multiple rocket launchers I will try to keep it hidden uh, after uh, my stacks of infantry and mobile on tier I don't want to lose that one because that one is going to be more important and look at this they are air assaulting me with uh, special forces and Saudi Arabia has the full package of helicopters gunships attack helicopters and also the air wing officer Rotary wing officer my my on tier all of my on tier have been activated they yes they landed some damage on those helicopters but they are still advancing and they are targeting my uh, support units that's quite bad i hope they don't go for my multiple rocket launches because my multiple rocket launches they are not equipped with on tier i kept them as a stack of 10 to be of course to have the maximum of damage when i strike I have this stack is composed of seven multiple rocket launchers, one on tier, one SAM, and uh, one anti missile. This one also is composed of one uh, infantry there with uh, those multiple rocket launchers. Whoa, this war is going to be very hard. Look at them, they have everything there. And this strategy is actually amazing. Like Saudi Arabia is receiving all of my artillery damage and Iraq is hiding behind him and launching his assaults with his artilleries like all the damage has been absorbed with those uh, multi, uh, with those main battle tanks and those multiple rocket launchers they will stay intact they will stay untouchable and safe there here are some cruisers attack submarines destroyers um, Pakistan is having some trouble here looks like I have an arsenal of 108 uh, conventional warheads um, I think I will start using them because here if I'm going to stay until they clear out those frigates We are going to lose the naval battle. So I I think it's time for me to uh, start using my arsenal of Cruise missiles because I have max level cruise missiles. I have 18 nuclear warheads and 108 cruise uh, Conventional warheads. I'm going to start separating my uh, 35 uh, naval recon aircrafts there is something weird here, like they were 35 NATO recon aircrafts and now I don't have the full number, I only have 28, like I lost 7. And no, it wasn't frigates who attacked me, from the notification it wasn't, it wasn't frigates who attacked me, like this is super weird. Do they have stealth technology? Like seriously, can they have stealth air superiority fighters? Because I didn't see anything in the air there. We will see. We will see in the upcoming minutes what they have. Because if they have stealth, that will make things more and more complicated. Yes, I have uh, max level SAMs, but they are going to uh, do a lot of problems for us. Look at those Saudi helicopters. Like, they are everywhere. They are literally everywhere. I'm going to wait for that stack of uh, special uh, uh, special ops to land. Here I'm keeping uh, 15 uh, naval recon aircrafts close to my borders in case of em emergency. I'm not going to send them in the middle of the ocean. So these are my backup uh, plan because you know my naval recon aircrafts they can uh, send cruise missiles so I can also use them on land. I can launch cruise missiles from land with naval recon aircrafts. Yeah, that would be useful. These are the Turkish destroyers, they have appeared, now it's time to launch some cruise missiles on them. These are an easy target because there are no frigates there. I can launch some cruise missiles here. I'm going to launch all of my arsenal on them. I'd like to kill them. At least to give some support for my ally Pakistan and also um, to give him a clear pathway to their concentration point of navy their concentration point of navy look at that look at that wave of cruise missiles by the way i did a mistake here i sent so much cruise missiles more than those destroyers need like i literally lost all my arsenal of cruise missiles this was not calculated to be honest this was a mistake because i was uh, selecting all of those naval recon aircrafts at, at once when i sent those um like when i sent one when i hit one attack on cruise missiles 
five will be uh, around ten will be uh, will be sent from each stack of naval recon aircraft. So actually, I sent fifty four. Imagine how much cruise missiles I sent here. Fifty four max level cruise missiles. That's a waste. That's a waste. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm 100% sure that those, cruise mess uh, that those cruisers and destroyers, they are going to be dead, but they are not worthy of 53 cruise missiles. And also Pakistan is sending a lot as well. Look at that. Look how much cruise missiles we are sending in this particular moment. <laughs> that's tremendous. That's, that's an overpower. Okay, now let's send those uh, NPA to kill that stack of uh, attack submarines. I don't see no frigates close by, so it's going to be a safe passage for me. Those uh, attack submarines, they are doing bad things to the cruisers of Pakistan, you can see there. So actually here, cruisers need to approach those, um, those um, cruise missiles, uh, those attack subs to be able to attack them, because you know, uh, cruisers, they don't have sonar. So in that case, it's a little bit tricky there. Okay, let's go back to the land battle here. Iraq is uh, advancing with this stack, with this armored stack. Also, uh, from the back line, there is Saudi Arabia with an armored division equipped with uh, mobile artillery. Like, they are launching everything at us. We have been, we have been overwhelmed here. And that stack of uh, special forces has landed and he is attacking my stack of multi rocket launchers, which is equipped with SAMs there. It is visible at the moment, which is good. And I can launch uh, some attacks from my multi rocket launchers on them. I have this stack of four here. This is chaotic here in the middle. This is chaotic here in the middle because look how much armored divisions Saudi Arabia is sending there in the middle. This is the exact strategy I used against uh, City Gamer in the Battle of Influences where we broke his main line of attack with our uh, anti-tanks. Like seriously here, Saudi Arabia is using the same, the same strategy I used in that battle and it was deadly and it was very very efficient here. Saudi Arabia is executing it perfectly, him and Iraq because they are doing here a perfect combo. Uh, a perfect combo of support units, uh, multi rocket launches and the main battle tanks which is a very very deadly combo here because you know that the main battle tanks they can support a lot of shocks they have a lot of hit points so in that case they, can, they will be the units that will absorb all of our attacks he already reached uh, our first line of defenses so he's going to just kill our first line of infantry and things. I'm going to engage here to be able to use the attack range of my motorized infantry. He tried to attack and go back. The Pakistani gunships, they are still on standby. So here uh, we have five stacks of gunships. We don't want to use them yet because they are fortified with uh, mobile anti-air. My 53 cruise missiles, they start to land. Those cruisers and destroyers, they are dead. They are smoked. But I'm out. I don't have more nuclear arsenal. Only 18 nuclear warheads and four conventional warheads. I'm going to keep those warheads to the land units there. Maybe they can help me with something. Here, uh, as I said earlier, Pakistan is finding a lot of problems against those Saudi Arabia uh, attack submarines. This is the bad thing when you don't have uh, when you don't have destroyers in your composition of uh, of navy. But we are still fighting. We are still fighting and defending. Uh, even though the Middle East they are overwhelming, they have uh, great firepower. But we are we are going to stand in our position. We will uh, try to fight till the end. And I hope that patience and resilience will pay us off eventually. But as I said, it's going to be very hard. I already focused all my firepower on those uh, special ops. They are going to be dead very soon because he started to lose some special ops there. Those special forces, they are 
a priority to kill because they are stealth units. They can easily go for our multi procat launches from our behind lines. But the mistake here that Saudi Arabia he has done that he used these special forces on air assault. That was useless. To be honest, he could have sneaked around us and attacked us from the back like I did in the influences battle. So here he did a small mistake that is going to cost him his special ops because I'm going to kill them with my multi procat launches. Chili said, thank God I'm sub. <laughs> yes. This is, this is a beautiful battle, this is a beautiful event and I know that you guys are happy uh, being in this beautiful battle royale it's uh, one big giant battle between teams, between coalitions, between all the members of the Miliodas Gaming community server Discord server I'm going to send this uh, cruise missile as starters to see if there are anti-missiles nearby there if it is intercepted that that area in the north is uh, fortified with anti-missiles if it reaches the target then we will see so here I'm going to praise I'm going to praise the Middle East team because they did very very good uh, they used my strategies there and they are literally using my strategies against me uh, I love that because they are learning very well from my videos I know for a fact now that all of our uh, Discord members that uh, participate in this battle, at least I'm going to speak about the Middle East, they are using my strategies against me, that means that uh, they are loyal followers and they are watching our videos, they are studying my gameplay, they are studying my strategies and they use them to counter me. That's good, that's very good. Missiles is your kryptonite, yes. Missiles are my nightmare. Like you saw in the last battle royale, how the European coalition in the last battle, how much missiles they sent. Like hundreds of ballistic missiles and more and more ICBMs. It was overwhelming. Like I suffered a lot of casualties from those missiles. It was an overwhelming nuclear firepower. So here it's still a stall. Each of, the, each of the sides, they are receiving damage because I'm launching very, very uh, heavy assaults with my uh, multi rocket launches there. I'm keeping them intact, I'm keeping them on the back line. Uh, I don't want to lose my stacks of multi rocket launches, but I'm really, really scared of their, uh, of their helicopters because helicopters, especially attack helicopters, they are deadly. They have more hit points than gunships. So they can really survive uh, our, uh, the attacks of our anti-air to be able to cross over and attack our multi rocket launches. Because you know, here if I lose my multiple rocket launches, it's checkmate, I'm going to die because I have no more uh, cards to play in this game. So what is going to make difference in this actual battle, because you see, it's very hard to be honest, they are strong, we are good, but they are very very much stronger than us. What is going to make a difference here is how we are going to command our troops and more important than that how you will have the reflection to anticipate the movement of your enemies that's very important so here Syria is sneaking around with his infantry officer he already uh, our forces from the south they have been all destroyed thanks Miliodas and we're health dying lol your coalition also doing wonderful thank you turkey thank you come on central asia i believe you i believe in you all this is philippines thank you philippines he is shouting for us so here uh, pakistan is still standing on his ground with his navies they are still fortified there near the persian gulf uh, near muscat they still have a lot of naval radars nearby looks like i lost all of my naval recon aircrafts not all, but I, I, lost, I lost so much, I don't know how, uh, I, don't, I don't see no frigates, they attacked me, 100% they have stealth technology, like seriously. Because they kept losing more and more NPA, that's super weird. You see here, I already concent concentrating the attack of my 10 multi rocket launches on those special forces. There are two stacks of special forces, the northern one is down to one special op, the second one, is the southern one, is down to two special ops. So it's good. They are going to be dead soon. My stacks of infantry, they received a lot of casualties. My cruise missile had been intercepted. So yeah, a lot of SAMs and anti-missiles there in that region. 
that's understandable. So guys, we are at the end of this episode. We meet in the next episode where we will continue this amazing battle. We will see what will happen. We will win or we will lose. Bye bye.